हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग ए हार्टी वेलकम टू यू ऑल टू अवर इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग क्लास नाउ यू मैट हैव स्टार्टेड स्पीकिंग इन इंग्लिश आई एम श्योर लेट मी नो इट एट द सेम टाइम यू मैट बी फ्रेमिंग यूअर ओन शॉर्ट सेंटेंसेस so frame the short sentences and start telling the stories storytelling method is also a very nice method to learn english speaking how it helps us because while telling the stories you will be forming the sentences and in the beginning choose the stories of your liking the stories which you might be knowing well even in your mother tongue for example today i will tell you a story the story you are knowing the story is very simple you are knowing it even in your childhood but today the same story i am going to tell you with the other new dimensions so keep on listening we are going to learn new new dimensions to that story it is not the just story what you have learnt as a child i will tell you that in the beginning and then i will tell you the story with the new dimensions so the same technique you can follow at home okay the story of hare and tortoise once there lived hare and tortoise they were good friends they used to speak to one another dance together play together they were very good friends once they decided to have a race you are know hare or the rabbit it runs fast whereas tortoise you are know so Hare was happy. Hare thought, "What is in that? Okay, I am ready. Come on," he said. Okay, both agreed, and the race started. As the race started, the hare ran fast. It saw some green, tender grass. It looked at the tortoise. Tortoise. far behind let me have some nice tender grass and have a nap he thought he ate the grass and had a nap by the time the tortoise slowly slowly came it saw the rabbit sleeping it went ahead and it touched the end point or the winning line so what this story tells us the story tells us slow and steady wins the race now the story doesn't end here i have told you i am going to tell you the story with a new dimension The story doesn't end. As I told you, they were good friends. So the days passed. Again, the hare or the rabbit asked the tortoise, "Shall we have the race once again?" Tortoise said, "Yes." This time, rabbit was determined. to win the race so what happened as the race started hare ran as fast as you as he can 
and won the race. You are knowing natural abilities given by God, attributed by God, because the tortoise. You are knowing how it works, whereas the hare you are knowing it is a fast runner. So, according to the God-given abilities, the rabbit won the race. Here, what is the moral? If we use the God-given abilities. As I told you, God has given all of us something or the other. So, if we use our ability, what God has given us, definitely we will win any race. Okay, the days passed on. The story doesn't end here. And you are knowing by this time both of them had become good friends. So they thought, we will have a race. But this time the race was in somewhat different way. What happened as the race started? Okay, as usually the rabbit ran, but it had to stop because there was a brook. They had to cross the brook. As we all know that the rabbit can't swim. So it waited for the tortoise. Tortoise slowly, slowly came. Then they decided Tortoise told the rabbit, I will carry you on my back and I will cross the brook. So tortoise took the rabbit on its back and they crossed the brook. Brook means a small river. And when they crossed, then again they had to run. By this time, the hare told, you are knowing on land I can run fast. So now you sit on my back. I will take you fast. So together they ran and both of them won the race. Here what we can learn. When we work in groups, we make use of our special abilities. Together we can make that work more fast. Our work can be done faster than the usual method. So whatever our speciality, that is why in the companies and all, you are having different groups, each preparing separate products. And then at the end, there are some machines and human beings who will join it. So it is called specialization. And one more thing we learn here is, we should not compete with the others. Whenever there is need of competition, we have to compete among ourselves. I have to compete with myself. What I have done yesterday and what I am doing today, there should be difference. What should be the difference? Today should be better than yesterday. Tomorrow, should be better than today. Means we should never compete with others, but the competition should be within ourselves. If we are having good handwriting, okay, last week how I used to write, now how I am writing. So my writing this week, 
should be definitely better than the last week. So all these dimensions we can learn from this story. So use the storytelling method as well. It will help you a lot to improve your English. Let me know in the comment box whether our Sunday's English speaking class has helped you, whether you are able to talk. Because offline we are knowing it directly. But here, the two, with the help of the videos, I don't know how much you have gained. So, tell me honestly, how much you have gained. Acha, have a good day.